Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular midweek devotion. This morning, our verse is written in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6. It read, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 There is an old story that has been told for many years about the three trees growing on a hillside, each of them with hopes and dreams. The first tree Look up at the stars and dreamt of being made into a beautiful tree treasure chest covered with gold, encrusted with jewels, and containing valuables. And then the second tree look at the river flowing out to the sea and dreamt of being made into a strong sailing ship to travel across the ocean carrying important cargo. And then, the third tree looked down at the village in the valley, bustling with people living busy lives with no time for God. She didn't want to be made into anything. Her dream is Growing tall on the hillside, pointing people towards heaven. One day, a woodcutter came to the three trees carrying his axe. The first tree was pleased when he was cut down and taken to a carpenter's workshop. But instead of being crafted into a treasure chest, he was roughly constructed into a feeding trough for animals, covered with dirt and filled with straw. And then, the second tree was delighted when he was taken into a shipyard. But instead of being made into an ocean-going ship, he became a small fishing boat placed on a lake. Now, the third tree was sad when she was cut down. All she wanted was to grow tall and point people to God. She was devastated when she was roughly split into beams, chopped into planks, and dumped in a corner of the wood yard, she felt rejected, abandoned, and hopeless. Time passed, and the trees forgot their dreams. But then one golden, starlit night, a young couple came into the stable containing the feeding throw made from the first tree. And the woman said, This manger will be perfect for our newborn baby. And the first tree realized he was holding the greatest treasure of all. And then years later, a tired traveler and his friends got into the boat made from the second tree. And when the wind blew and the waves broke into the boat, the traveler stood up and commanded the storm, Quiet, be still, and it became perfectly calm. The second tree realized he was carrying the greatest cargo of all, the king of heaven and earth. Then, one Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her arms were yanked from the forgotten wood pile. She flinched 
as she was carried through a jeering crowd. She shuddered as a soldier nailed a man's hand to her. Now she felt worse than ever, ugly, harsh, and cruel. But on the Sunday morning, when Jesus rose from the dead, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. He made the first tree beautiful. He made the second tree strong. And whenever anyone thought of the third tree, they would be pointed to God when they made him into the cross, into a cross. So the moral of the story is that we all have our hopes and dreams, our plans. And most of the time, in our situation, we thought that things are not going according to our plans. But like the story that we've just read, let us give everything to the Lord. When everything is in the Lord's hand, things will go well. Like what our verse says in the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Whatever is our situation right now, wherever you are in your life comparing to your plans and to your dreams, it may be too far from the reality but again if we will put everything into the Lord's hand always have this confidence because it is written in the Bible Jesus who began a good work in your life will carry it on to completion and that is the promise let us pray dear Heavenly Father we thank you so much Heavenly Father just like the lesson of the story as what you had promised in your in in your book in your word that you began a good work in our lives and you will bring it to completion it may not look good right now but we will put our faith in you because we believe in your promise and you will put everything into completion in your own time. We thank you so much. We give all the glory and all the thanksgiving in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Good morning and Merry Christmas.